Uh, I don't, I, when I look at you, I think of, and I'm old, so I look at you and I think, oh, she's, she's 18, 19, 20 years old. I know you're older than that, but Thank you. Um, you are, I, I'm looking at your bio the other day and it says nine time female vocalist of the year uh, from the Texas radio and music awards. And I'm looking at that thinking, ain't no way she's been doing this for nine years, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, you also, of course, won video of the year this year for trenches. Uh, do all the other women in Texas want you to leave? Yeah, <laughs> I have. Uh, I've tried to formally resign uh, from that <laughs> award, uh, mostly because it makes me feel old, but also because <laughs> there was a girl and she said, "I don't want to. Uh, I don't even tell people to vote for me if Brie Bagwell is nominated." And that kind of broke my heart because <laughs> I feel like what I do now is way easier than what she is doing because I did what she was doing, which is loading up your own PA, driving yourself, setting up your PA, tearing it down, driving home. That deserves an award way more than, you know, I have a crew and a team now. So, you know, it's still hard, but it's not near as hard as it was. And so I'm, next year, I think I shall recuse myself from that. Um, but yeah, I started my band in 2011 and I was playing, I've been playing shows since 2009. So I have been doing it a lot longer than people think. And so um, oh, everything that we've been doing has been, I look back over my life, it's kind of puzzle pieces that have just fallen into place. And, and I know how lucky I am to have been doing it for this long, but it's just, it's really for me been about just figuring it out for this long and yeah. how to make it work. <laughs> well, and I, I love the fact that you kind of tell that story because we've pointed out um, on this show before that when you see someone who gets their big break and they're, they're suddenly thrust into the spotlight in the mainstream, you look at their credentials and it's like, Oh my God, they've been doing this for 18 years. Right. Like that. This is, there's no such thing really anymore as an overnight success. I guess there are some rare exceptions um, you know, maybe, uh, Oliver Anthony or whatever his, you know, he, he popped, but you know, social media will do that every now and then, but that's very, very rare. You, you've had 12 number one songs on Texas radio. Um, and I commend Texas for tracking that because I don't think other states track how many they have mm -hmm. their own radio awards. Um, I'm sure you could make a really good living just in Texas, but my assumption is you're building for that next level, that breakthrough to the mainstream. What do you think is has kept you from making that leap thus far? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I just, you're exactly right. And I feel like I've kind of hit my head on a lot of things that I'm doing and I'm really ready for the next thing. Uh, but it's been really, it's mostly money. I think that people, you know, they look at us and they say, oh, when's your next tour? It's like, oh, I'm always on tour. I play every weekend throughout the whole year and so it's not like I have uh, buckets of cash you can make a good living down here and that's why we love it so much but now watching Texas kind of branch out and becoming this cult you know people love Texas music and, and seeing people like Cody Johnson really break out and do wonderful that's like what we're all kind of trying to do so um, I have a new agent and I'm going to I think 12 different states this fall so it's just kind of the exact thing that you said. I'm ready to pivot and make the next move. And it doesn't always work out the way you wanted to. I've had some managers. I've had a label. I've had things that I've been trying to go to that next level and that haven't worked out because they don't always, unfortunately. But for me, as long as I can keep playing live music, pay my bills, pay my band, because they all depend on me too, you know, to a certain extent. And now getting to take it to, I'll be in 20 different states this year. Like that's a big, that's a big deal for me. And of course, you know, I would love to be Lainey Wilson like we all would, but it just, it doesn't work like that for everyone, unfortunately. 